I talk about former Attorney General Eric Holder calling for violence against the right from the left, which basically echoes what his friend Hillary Clinton did recently while she was being interviewed by CNN over there in Oxford, England. Now, I do have video of that, and I'm not going to talk too much more right here. What I'm going to do right now is go ahead and roll the clip. In this clip, you'll see Eric Holder speaking to people in Georgia trying to promote the Democratic gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams over Brian Kemp, the challenger, after we get done with this particular clip. I'll come back. I'll speak about that clip. I'll speak about Eric Holder's response to the negative response that has been levied against him. And then I'll speak about everything else that surrounds it and wrap it on up. What a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. They have used the power that they have gotten for all the wrong things. They want to keep themselves in power. They want to cater to the special interests. It is time for us as Democrats to be as tough as they are, to be as dedicated as they are, to be as committed as they are. Michelle always says, Michelle Obama, I love her, you know, <coughs> she and my wife like really tight, um, which always scares me and Barack. <laughs> Michelle says that, you know, when they go low, we go high. No. No. When they go low, we kick them. Right. So right she gave birth and she decided to take her three-year-old child. That's what this new Democratic Party is about. Okay. We're proud as hell to be Democrats. We're willing to fight for the ideals of the Democratic Party. We're proud of our history. We're proud of our present. And we're proud of the future that we can create for this country. And we're not in this just to make a statement. We're in this to win. Okay, you see that? You see what's going on now? That little mashup right there, that was to show how these people influence others. Now, I'm not saying what Eric Holder said made this guy in Toronto go kick that woman uh, talking about, oh, I was trying to kick your phone. I'm not trying to say that particular statement caused him to do that. But this general uh, acceptance of violence from the left against the right is what caused it. All right. Because people say it's not really a big deal. You can hit people, kick people, do whatever you want because they're the bad guys, right? They're the Nazis. This whole thing about punching Nazi. And then you call anybody a Nazi, a uh, punch a white supremacist. And then you call anybody a white supremacist. You'll call me a Nazi. You'll call me a white supremacist, even though that obviously does not make any sense this is what the left does and this is why i cover these things because you got to understand what they're all about nowadays it's not isolated incidents just one person in toronto one person in portland it ain't just hillary clinton it ain't just eric holder this is a general thing that is accepted in practice from the top to the bottom how did seth rich pass away i don't really know i'm not trying to say hillary clinton had him killed i'm just saying it looks kind of fishy there's a lot of things like that that's around a democratic party like i said from the very top on down to the bottom you're talking about um government employees engaging in espionage stealing stuff i mean we've seen this time and time again the girl reality winner in atlanta georgia a couple years ago or more and then you had the more recent case of the staffer that used to work for diane feinstein stealing stuff getting brought up on federal charges this is what the left has become which is why so many people are starting to walk away from the left and they're going towards the right. Eric Holder responded to all the negative criticism of him in his statements talking about, oh, please stop with the fake outrage. I wasn't trying to incite violence is that in the third. And I'll place that tweet on the screen before you. But what you said here was pretty clear rather than saying when they go low, we go high, which actually should be a good thing. If you actually know what going low is and what going high is, it should be interpreted as take the high road. Don't stoop down to the level of your competitors of the other side. That should be the general message. But rather than saying that you say, nah, you know what? If I feel like I disagree with you, I'm going to hurt you physically. Why say kick? Why do you have to do that? Why can't you just say, Let's come with some facts. Let's come with some true information. Let's explain to people why our side is better. Don't come with this whole uh, combative nature because you can say, Eric Holder, after the fact, as a Monday morning quarterback, that, oh, well, I meant to say this, I meant to say, nah. 
what you said is what you said and the average person is going to take it in a literal way or at least close to literal right either they're going to say we're going to punch them physically kick them physically physically hurt them or we're going to engage in some dirty stuff as dirty as we think they're being although the way the other side is behaving may not even be dirty at all but in their mind they're rationalizing it and they're saying you know what they're right they're being uh, racist, sexist, misogynistic. They're mocking people. They don't believe women. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give her a roundhouse kick in her shoulder and that'll teach her. That's what they're thinking. So you can say whatever you want, Eric Holder, but I know what's really going on. Okay. You say pretty much anything, just like them guns in Arizona. Oh, I wasn't really trying to run the guns. I was just trying to catch. We're not trying to hear that, boss. You know, you're running guns, you're doing all kinds of stuff. That's why you resigned as their attorney general well before the end of Barack Obama's presidency. So don't hand me this stuff. You are not a person that should be even trying to speak in this way. You are part of the swamp. You are a corrupt official, the same as a lot of your colleagues up there, the same as your corrupt crony Hillary Clinton, who said the exact same thing you have said. So at the end of the day, as I close, I just want to say this is yet another example of why people are leaving the left. It's simple. I mean, I'm glad I jumped ship long before it started sinking. I saw the holes in the hole. I saw the fires starting in the back. I saw the failure of the engine rudders, whatever. I saw the anchor break off and sink to the bottom of the ocean while the ship was still sailing. I saw all those things happen. So I'm over here on dry land, safe and sound. You guys might try to come off your boat, swim to shore and attack us, but we are already ready. So I say don't do it. Uh, people talking about a civil war. I don't think so. You know, a war means you got to have both sides that are fighting. Now, there is an ideological war going on. Absolutely. That's happening right now. Um, is the left right? Is the right right? That's happening right now. But we're talking about physical violence. You don't want to go down that particular road because that's not going to be a fight you win. I'm all for peace, love and harmony, all the other stuff. Don't do it. You'll absolutely regret it. So what do you think? Do you think that what Eric Holder said here is correct? When they go low, we kick them. If you think that's appropriate, please explain to me why. And if you think that is appropriate, explain how what I said is untrue about it, meaning hurting people and if you think we should hurt people because we disagree with them i would love to hear an explanation how do you get around laws at a certain point you got things called assault battery uh, malicious wounding attempted murder those laws are still in the books just because eric holder gets on television and says you know when they go low we kick them does not mean that you have carte blanche to break the law but do you think i'm correct about Eric Holder, Hillary Clinton, and others inciting the the pawns and the chessboard to go out there and do their dirty work for them to hurt people physically, mostly. Uh, they, they try to go out there and say, oh, we just want to go and campaign hard and strong. Nah, if that's what you wanted to say, then you would say that. Or you would say a thing that can easily be interpreted as that rather than saying, kick them. And before that, saying when they go low. At the end of the day, this is just more of an example of why the left is failing, and I'm glad to be on the winning side. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the